and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Or Carlin Brothers Box Breakers! Okay, well now calm down just a little bit there. We don't want to harm any of the cards. Well, that's true. I feel like I'm just trying to break the box, not the cards. Oh, I see what you're saying. The yeah. box, but not the cards. Exactly. Because that's that's the real objective here. None of these the are cards, mint anymore. We protect. The box, we destroy. It is just, you know what? Whoa! It's gone. Couldn't have, couldn't have predicted that. Roll the intro. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy! Oh man, but I can tell you that based on the currently unrevealed, commonly, randomly chosen common chase cards, that we are going to be hoping for some salad energy today. Are you ready? Man, that was a really good spin. It felt solid. I feel like there's some wind coming off of it. What are we going to land on? It is not going to be metal! Energy, which I want to say is a really bad one for this particular pack. There's like the Reva Room and the Varoom. The highly unanticipated. <laughs> the interesting thing about it is I think that maybe one of the Reva Rooms is one of the cards that like has low card value. And because we are in the final packs of the season, people are attempting to get that last place award. Right. So something to keep in mind. And, right. But like there's a possibility of like a low value Reva Room actually messing you up for well, your last place award. That's true. That's true at this point. Although, the fact that it is metal is almost still helpful for last place because it means you're unlikely to score points with metal cards because there's for, so few. For any other reason. For any okay. other reason, okay. yeah. So, that being said, would you like to uh, let them know today's randomly chosen common chase cards? I sure will. Today, they're going to be Go-Goat, Riolu, and Cacturn. Oh, man. I feel like we've seen the Riolu a whole bunch of times. It, it, it feels like, of course, I say that in like every single week, it feels like the randomly chosen common chase card that we have ends up having been super prominent the week before. It's so weird how they don't like show up in any sort of consistent feeling pattern. Yes, no, not none whatsoever. But with that being said, would you like to start us off? Let's do it. Today's first contestant is Games Bun. This is the final uh, round of pack opening. So after we open up each pack, this will be your third pack for this season. Your score will be final. So uh, Games Bun coming in with uh, four points on the season. Let's see how they land. I know I'm very I'm very eager to see. I'm very eager to see. By the way, I'm assuming that Games Bun is really just a very clever play on a famous director who recently maybe uh, let out Guardians of the Galaxy. Love your work, by the way. Thank probably, you. Probably, probably him being right, a patron yeah, most, here. Most on the likely, show. yeah, yeah, yeah. Eyeball yeah. energy to start things off. Then the pawn are the crushing hammer, the starly, the flittle, the beach court, the sandaconda. No scoring cards yet. The Cloitzer does not score. The Pokemon catcher does not score. <gasps> the, the King, King Gambit. Gambit gets the. Six Single point pack for games bun there. That is going to give them five points total it's, on the season. Let's put eight cents down for that card there. I don't think it will end up being relevant, but just in case, just yeah, in case. So just in case. If a five point last place, that would be unheard of. I know, but you know what? I'm excited to be starting off slow. I'm excited to be starting off slow because I want I want to spread the love and the joy throughout the episode. So unfortunately for Games Bun, that was bad news, but for the rest of the episode, it's great news. There we go. All right, next up we have a, just a real crowd favorite. It's Jazzy J. Truther. Ah, uh, crowd favorite. Maybe stretching it to, to break. Well, you say that, Ben, but if you listen to Popcorn Culture this week, guess who the host was? This is true. This one is Jazzy J. There's an eyeball. Wow, oh, we have one of these boxes. Oh, no, we got one of those. We got the Alola Mola, the Pomo, the Toad School, the Rotom, the Toxitricity, the Crocolore, the Muck, the Heracross will not score, the Pineco will not score, and the Indeedy will score. Now, uh, Jazzy J. Truther uh, came into the season. 
Uh, midway through, so this is only their second pack, but it's only going to be a single point. Their total is going to be eight on the season. Okay, yes, yeah, so eight cents is what the NDD is worth. So eight so. cents. Not really going to make a difference because they've got eight points overall. They're obviously not in last place based on even just the last pack of cards, but nonetheless, NDD coming your way, Jazzy J, Truther. Thank you for all of your continued support. There we go. It is also worth mentioning that the other score that we could be on the lookout for today is 12 points overall because yes. that will put you in position for the Big Steve Award. EK Sco is currently the only person who has 12 points. But they've uh, opened only two packs. Only two packs. So right. possibility that they will still have a third pack left to be open that could knock them out of contention. So honestly, anybody that can land in that 12 point spot, great place to be in. Indeed. Indeed. -E. Aha! In fact, there I we see go. what you did there. All right, next up then we have Kitten Ninja coming into the day with five points on the season. Their favorite Pokemon are Charizard and Jolteon. Bam! They got the uh, dark energy coming up here. So far, like we said, not a single metal Pokemon has made an appearance. We've got Houndor, Satato, Magikarp, Magnemite, Tatsugiri, Jacques, Florigato. Man, if only, I told you, if oh, there's the Go-Go. Oh, and the Spinops EX! So our oh, first big pull of the day. We have two scoring okay, cards, because that's a chase card. You are absolutely correct. I was about to say, I don't think that one does, but it does indeed. All right, so number 19 on the set overall. I think this is going to be some bulk EX. Uh, yeah, so 70 cents. We're uh, still just a single point for the Spinops there. Sadly. But we'll still sleeve it up for you any which way, because it is still a beautiful card. You want to be sure to protect it on its way from us to you. So there is that. There we go. Yes, unfortunately, so there are three versions of Spidops EX, and this is the lowest rarity form of it. So sadly, just a single point for it. That's just the way it goes sometimes. All right, next up, Ben, is Fran. Fran! Fran! Who's coming in with four points on the season. This is their uh, third pack overall. Let's see if they can. They've scored two points on both of their previous packs, so let's see if they can score big. If they can get the, get the old three-peat, huh? Yeah, yeah, let's see. All right, so we got the Tropius, the Pokeball, the Rotom, the Palpad, the Flaffy, the Blissey, the Tatsugiri, the Curlia will not score, the Quaxley will not score. Oh, oh, the Great Tusk will, but it looks like another bulk EX if you ask me, but we'll double check just to be sure. I'll just, sleeve it up for you. Just to be sure, number 123 on the set is in fact worth 69 cents, so right there with the last one as well, so just Man. rounds up to a single point. Point. Single point for the Great Tusk EX and Fran, who's going to finish the season with five points, but Great Tusk coming your way. All right, Ben, next up we've got Josh. Josh! Josh, who is coming in with a solid 21 points on the season so far. Goodness gracious. So let's just say a quick check real fast. So Josh, yeah, with 21 points, sole person with 21 points coming today, by the by, uh, was overall in 14th place. We're looking for a quality 8th place finish. That would currently be 26 points, okay. which is held by Berkeley Comstock. So if they can get up to 27 points is what they're looking for. Really, 27 would be a great position right. to be in. So yes. they want like a 6-point pack here. Is, is that me? Is that where we're at? Yes. Yeah. They have 21 points overall. So yeah. yeah. Okay. So six point pack. You're correct. They're looking yeah. for a six point pack to get into eighth place, and that's assuming no one else changes the top eight for the rest of the season, which is unlikely as well. Then, yeah, because always... the people in the top eight will, of course, get more points as well. Also true. Also yeah. True. Let's see. Man, there's a teardrop energy. Then we have the Shroomish, the Mankey, the Charcadet, the Capsicid, the Star After. No metal. Oh, oh the out. Squavit! Oh my gosh, I love this card. Squavit is such a hero card in decks right now, and the Annihilate, which will probably be worth one point. But let's check the Squavit. We will do that. Yes, yeah, so number two. Oh my gosh. Just this past weekend, this Squavit helped me win a tournament at our local card shop. The Squavit's a little bit more competitive yeah. than the last couple. It's going to come in at $2.50. We'll round up to three with the Annihilate. will be four points four. on the pack, which will put 25, 25 points 20. on the season. So let's see. That is going to put you in ninth place. Ninth. Oh, so, so no just, chance for that eighth Just spot. narrowly missed out. It's like skin on your teeth, but, narrow close. But it doesn't matter because the Squavit is so great. It lets you put your hand on the bottom of your deck and draw one extra card. Giving you a one card hand, but you play this with Bibroll, which lets you draw uh, up to your a hand size of five. Okay. So the idea is you play Squavit, go down to one, then Bibroll back up to five. Perfect. There you go. Plus, sometimes you just need that one extra card. This past weekend, uh, Squavit let me draw into a Trekking Shoes, which let me draw into a Choice Belt, which I discarded from the Trekking Shoes. Then I drew a Judge. I was able to draw four new cards. Gave me the RCS V-Star I was looking for, and from the rest of the game, I was cruising. Uh, won that game handily.
So, squub it for the win. Big fan of the squubs. Big fan of the squub it. All right, next up is Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina, all right, Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Let's who see Who presently here. has six points on the season. So they'd look for, they would love a six point pack as well to try and get to the big Steve spot. Seems like six point pack is the pack of the day. All right, <clears> so we've got the Fighting Energy there, the Chansey, the Rare Candy, the Fido, the Dedenne, the Florges, the Greedent, the Vivalon, the Bi Sharp does not score, the Cacnea. Nope, Cacturn would score, does but. Does not score, yeah. And there's, oh, there's your Room. It's going to be a two-point card because it is metal and is the rare card. There we go. So that's, no. this is exactly what I was I was speaking in reference to is like that possibility of like somebody being in last place and getting what would be a fairly low value card uh, and then having it like double you out of it. But yeah. so eight points on the season for season for Wilhelmina is probably enough to kind of put them in a just. Just middle of the pack middle territory. Middle of the pack territory there for Wilhelmina. But you get the Rev Room, which is also similar to a Bibberal effect. Let's draw up to six cards, though, if you discard a Metal Energy. Yep. All right, next up we have LittleKernels.com. Looks like it's the operator of the unofficial website. The one true unofficial website of our podcast, Popcorn Culture. Very well done, though. Yes, yes it is. If you listen to the podcast, you have to check it out. LittleKernels.com. I'm guessing that's who the operator of this website is. Anyway, this is their first round. So we do have a uh, someone up for the Rookie of the Day. Uh, let's see uh, if they can pull it. Obviously, not in contention for last place or prob. Well, I guess suppose I suppose littlekernels.com here could land in like a big Steve spot. Right. Oh yeah, always possible. Or like yeah, quality yeah, yeah. eighth place, but they need some pretty solid pulls. They would need some pretty solid pulls. So let's see what we got for them. The Flabebe, the Toxel, the Ralts, the Growlithe, the Jacques, the Florigato, the Stone Journer, the Sandaconda will not score, the Magnemite will not score, and, and the, the Klefki! Yeah, the single point there for LittleKernels.com, making them the current leader for Rookie of the Day, but actually we should look up the sense on that just in Oh case yes, just to, just to be sure. Compare. Oh, there we go, let's see, number 96. Oh, on the set. Also does come with some honorary J points as always mm. with our Klefki there. So that's gonna be worth 59 cents. So actually oh, a, a fairly competitive um, <laughs> yeah. card in terms of just one base point. rare. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. There you go. All right, well, good job to littlekernels.com. Clefly coming your way. Neck Klefki coming your way. Next up is Megan K, who's been Megan. watching Megan, who's been watching SCB since 2016. What? Crazy. Is that what, is that the year that Moana came out? I feel like when Moana came out, we made yeah, a, lot that's right. of SC, or a lot of videos about that. We so. sure did. Good times, good times. All right, let's see. Megan K has got two points thus far on the season. How are they going to do? How are they going to close out? We're looking. I feel like we're still. We have yet to pull like a, our big crazy solid pull yet. All right, we have energy switch. Hey, the Varoom scores. There we go. Launcher, Skidoo, the EXP share, the Stonjourner, the Penny, the Flamigo, EXP share again, and Arbeliva. So just a two-point pack, I a guess. two-point pack overall, yeah. There so we go. So four, four points total. to close out the season. Megan, Megan. One of the rare people taking advantage of today's type advantage. Well done, well done. Someone that that is to. an accolade that not many will be able to claim. That's right. All right, coming up next, we have got a... Uh, Joe Cathan, Joe Cathan, who has got 11 points on the season. So Joe is actually maybe hoping for that single point to get to the 12 points for the Big Steve Award. Oh yeah, so a single point would oh, do that. Oh, but no, oh. they've got the metal energy, so they're guaranteed two points. At least two points. Wow, right. so you hate to see it. I know, this is the Pineco, the Flittle, the Fuicoco, the Drowsy, the Doxbun, the Torkoal, the Scovelin, the Alola Mola will not score, the Arbeliva will score, yeah, and, and the, the King, King Gambit. Gambit will score. So it's actually gonna be a four point pack when all is said and done for 14 points total. Oh man, man. So, so close for at, Joe Cathan. At the end of the season, that will tie for uh, 28th and uh, 29th overall at the current moment. Man, Man! Really jumped up there with just four points. I know. Very impressive. Very impressive. Goodness me. They well, were in a good position, too, to get to that single point. Well, and we'll see, too, I think, because if our box is doing what it sometimes does, which would mean that your next pack will also be a Metal Energy. It could oh, be you're right. Yeah, so for, for Reagan. For oh. Reagan. Who's coming in with eight points? Both of their cards. Oh, this is interesting. Both of Reagan's packs this uh, season have scored four points. So if they can three peat four points, uh, then they will land themselves at 12 I for know. the Big Steve Award. Okay. So let's find okay. out. Oh, this is a raucous pummeling. Raucous pummeling. Okay. All right, let's see. We have the Buizel, the Energy Retrieval, the Chunk, Judge, Floatzel, Miriam, Flabebe, Drifloon, and the Armor Rouge. So it looks like just a single point. Oh, Everyone is just Reagan. dancing Everyone around is, it right now. I know we're gonna get someone at twelve at some point. Someone's gonna, people exciting. are just blowing past it or or yeah. coming short of it. So, 
All right, we have Mbug. Mbug. Mbug, who is uh, coming into the day with eight points. So uh, uh, Mbug is looking for four points for Big Steve, I suppose. There we go. All right, so we got the lightning bolt energy there yeah. for you. The Tandem Mouse, the Shuppet, the Smolov, the Primeape, the EXP Share, the Penny, the Medicham, the Tropius will not score. Oh! What is this? It's the Alt Art Miriam! No way! This is the most valuable card in the set! Oh my god! That gosh. is what? Oh, oh. Marg. Oh! And the Full Art Spy Dops! What a pack! What a Could pack! Could M Bug indeed. have shot to the top of the charts? Good. What is what is Margo singing at home thinking right now? Oh my gosh. Okay, so it, for what it's worth, alright, so yeah, our Miriam Special Illustrator Rare, number 251 on the set. It's worth $75.41. So okay. 76 points for that. And the Spy Ops, number 223 on the set is going to be worth a dollar sixty nine to two points. So that's seventy eight total. Seventy eight total. So what does that put M bug at? Seventy eight total plus their current eight points is going to put them at eighty six points on the season. We got a, we new, have leader. a new leader. No way. Oh my gosh! All right, let's let's what? let's sleeve these guys up right away. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You, I cannot. Believe. I can't believe we pulled another Miriam. Dude, I was trying so hard to trade for this card this weekend. Uh, so you don't have one yet. I don't have one yet. Oh I was, my god! There was there was someone who was willing to trade it, and uh, they just wanted to see more of my stuff. So I've got like a. I was like, hold it for me, and they were like, all right. All right. So we'll see. Maybe I'll get it another day. But wow. wow! I did not see that coming. This so is, a whole this is lot why of I stuff. Love round three. This is when things get crazy. Things like, when are we gonna see Margot's final pack? Cause they only need. S they need seven. They need six points to tie, seven to pass. Margo's gonna need something like it's Margo's like it doesn't have to be need, that special, it just but like a little bit special. Oh, it's so crazy! Oh my gosh! All right, next up we have Pandito. All right, let's see. Uh, they've got five points on the season thus far. Uh, is it me? It's you. It's me. All right, here we go. All right. Yeah, um, so looking man. looking for maybe seven points again to get into that Big Steve ter territory. Man, so uh, Pandito says all of their online screen names are based off this five-year-old daughter's stuffed animals. Pandito is a red panda. Hey, how about that? Bam, eyeball energy. Can you imagine if that had been the metal energy on that last oh one? Oh my god! They would have won high and away. Yeah, it would have been, I think, darn near impossible. Uh, no, yeah, it would have been unassailable. Palmo Breloom does not score, and oh, oh, there we go. That's the full art Gyarados EX. That'll be worth something to you. Does it take five energies to get this tyrannical tail going? It, yeah, it sure does, yeah. Goodness gracious. That seems like a lot, doesn't it? It does feel like a lot, although holy butts. Whoa. This Gyarados is worth $24.27. That's it's a 25 point card. What? 225 on the set, Gyarados, 225. Wow! I feel like I underreacted Whoa. to that pull. That that's is a amazing. really good one. What an incredible box we're having. Man, all of a sudden. So that's going to bring uh, Pandito up to 30 points on the season, which puts them in a solid, uh, what, it would have been 7th place on the day, but will now be, oh, that puts them in 8th place! Because no, no, I think you're wrong. I think no. Jeremy was in 7th place. So I think it puts them in 7th place, because everything would have been moved down 1. So I think Jeremy is currently in 8th place. Jeremy, what? So this, if if based on that, you're oh, you're right. It puts them in seventh place. Puts them in seventh place, which is not a terrible place to be. Wait, no, but it would have put them in seventh place, and Jeremy would have gone to eighth. But our last M bug went to the top, which would shift Pandito down to eighth, right? No, because they're above Jeremy. They would have been here. Yeah, in seventh, Jeremy would have become eighth. Maybe you're right. Okay. I think, I'm pretty sure Pandito is presently in eighth place. Okay, so. okay. Wild there you go. What is happening? Oh my gosh, that's a quality eighth placer. Claims on the have, Gyarados. Claims have been staked. Yeah. Very impressive turn of events. That was probably like a, like a back to back packs for oh. like some of the most shocking stuff to have happen. Oh boy. All right. Well, speaking of which, we have a, a former season champion, Omega, up to Omega. bat next year. They've only got five points on the season so far, but who knows what could happen. Am I up? I think right. you're up. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Things have taken a wild turn here. I know. We're off to a slow start, but this 
this is what happens. This is, this is, this would have been a great box to just open. I mean, that's like yeah. that's some hard hitting stuff dropping in there. All right, so we got the Dark Teardrop Energy, then we got the Nimona, the Lechonk, the Flabebe, the Growlithe, the Oinkalone, the Breloom, the Kilowattrol, the Energy Search will not score, oh, the Slowpoke! Slowpoke! That's such a great card! It's an adorable card, and, and the, the Houndstone. Okay. All right, so let's see, number 204 on the set. I don't think, I think we pulled this one before and maybe, Oh, it's not too bad. Six dollars thirty-five cents. We'll round up to seven. The wow, Houndstone. seven on the slowpoke, and then eight for the Houndstone. Eight for the. There you go. All right. So that's thirteen points on the season, so though. Thirteen points. Oh, it's so close to Big Steve. It but misses it, it by a single point. But no, but but, Ek Sco has only opened two packs. Oh, it's very so true. Ek Sco will get at least one more point. So. This this is in contention for Big Steve. It is in contention. You're correct. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there are. It's currently, I think, a five way tie for 13th place. Maybe a six okay. way tie. So, so we're, we're gonna have to go, have to, go, go some to, some to some total rare card values there. Yeah, for sure. If it gets to that point, it's certainly possible and even likely someone else just lands at the 12 point spot after three packs. Um, in the meantime, we've got Matt Cat Matt Cox up to bat. Is it me? I think it's you. you. It's me. Yeah. There we go. Who can who can remember things like? 30 seconds ago. I know, I know. I know. Who Actually, the pack? Well, uh, one of one of uh, our moderators over on Discord, Data, has been so kind as to go through and pull a lot of Ooh. the data for the show. We got the metal energy on we the board. We got the metal energy, so hopefully something big for Matt Cox here. Let's see it. Can we take advantage of our type advantage here? Oh, the Team Stargrunt does not score. The Drowsy does not score. Oh, uh, the research. research. So sadly, just the two point pack, even with the type advantage. Unfortunate, that's gonna be five on the season for Matt. Uh, you hate to see a, a type advantage wasted like that, but you do. there you, you do go. Indeed. No, what I was gonna, to complete that thought though, uh, is that we've, we've had somebody go through and actually pull all the data to see which of you and I is currently pulling the rarer cards yeah. on average. And technically, I think you have a higher score, but you also have opened way more packs than me. There oh. must be so many occasions where you just double down and like neither of us catches it. So. Oh, right, must be the case. Yes, yes, we need to, we need to figure out like an average per pack basis. Yeah, we, so need like a, we need like a slider or something. Right, yes, there we go. All right, so next up is drawing hearts, and I can see that you and I both attempted to draw some hearts on the on the sheet here. I'll try and add another one. Maybe oh, every excellent. time your there card we go. comes up. We'll add, we'll add an additional heart to so, Drawing Hearts. Drawing Hearts has five points on the season. All right, we got the Eyeball Energy. Let's see, so we're going for seven again. So the Palmy, the Tarantula, the Riolu, the Magneton, the Quaxwell, the Cyclozar, the Toad Scroll, the Professor's oh, Research. research. Yep, that will score. The Jacques will not score. And, and the, the Crydon will score. So just a two-point pack, I am afraid. It's going to bring you to seven on the season. Bam. Well, there you go. Crydon coming your way with some research. All right, next up is Jackinator and Dakinator. Ooh! Man, Jackinator and Dakinator coming in with three points total on the season. Let's see uh, how they fare here. I suppose there's an argument for last place at four points, but it's gonna be pretty tricky. Uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how we do. Of course, who knows? You never know when someone's actually aiming for first, even though they've only got... Oh, well, actually, they cannot. They cannot win at this point, can they? Because you have to have. You'd have to pull the Altar Miriam. Oh, well, I guess you'd have like a, a a multiplier on some on some other big smaller cards, but yep, yep, that's it's always not possible. It's yep. impossible. Squawkabilly, Capsicid, Toad Scroll. Not many chase cards today to speak no, of. No, we're really not. Or seeing else them, we've are just we? missed them. The Fido and the, the Skeleton. So just the single point, which is maybe what they were going for that brings them to four on the season. It's nine cents for the Skeleton, by the wow. way, just for note keeping reasons, but. Nine cents, nine cents. There we go. Well, good uh, Jackinator and Dakinator. You guys can, um, you know, fight over who gets your excellent Skeleton. There we go. Anyway, who wants to wear it around their necklace? Ooh, I like to think that people are doing that. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Just like, look what I won on the internet. This is yeah, um, like get amazing. your skeleton graded and yeah. then add it to like oh, a chain. Oh, please get yeah, it graded. Yeah. Yes, for that's, sure. That's, that's the real way to do it, right? Oh man, I'll tell you what, M Bug should get that Miriam graded. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, <laughs> for that, sure. that's for sure. <laughs> that's that's uh, that's a good one. Um, next up is Cartavian. Cartavian. All right, from Kentucky, lives in Colorado. How they're gonna pull? They got four points on the season. Looking for an eight-point pack, maybe. All right, all right. Let's see what we got here. Can we do it? There we go, we got the fireball energy, energy right off the top. We got the Staravia. Yep. 
the Ralts, the Tandem Mouse, the Poke Gear, the Heracross, the Flamigo, the Crocodile, the Energy Switch will not score, the Clauncher will not score, and the, the Maridon. Man, so we're having real highs and real lows today, bro. Yes, indeed, we That's are. Be so a single point. So I guess we can look it up. It's a five point. So that won't be last place because we've had some four pointers. Yeah, that's true. Down there. Yeah, let's see. Nine cents overall, though, for the for the Mariah. In case you're for, wondering, for future note keeping reasons. All right, Akron guy is uh, Akron guy. I Akron should say guy, is yep. up next. They have got seven points on the season, which puts them in a little bit easier uh, scoring range to get to the twelve point mark of the Big Steve Award. Right, absolutely. And yeah. I mean, actually, twelve points would still be an incredibly competitive way to close out the day because. Um, while we know EK Skill will likely have at least one more pack to open, thus putting them out of 12 points, it means that the, the door is open. For the door is open. only have 12 points. Yeah. The Dene Curlia Switch, Team Stargrunt, Zangoose, Youngster, Squawkabilly, Sprigatito, and the and Dondozo. The Dondozo. So just going to be a single point on the Dondozo, bringing you to eight on the season, Akron guy. So I think we're going to miss out on Big Steve, sadly, but you get your Don Dozo. There we go. There you go. Next up, we have Tempest Blade. Tempest Blade. Tempest Blade has 10 points, so actually they feel like they're in a really good spot to get a two-point pack this, here. This does feel, yeah, like like prime for the picking. So yeah. let's see, we got the Teardrop Energy, so no multipliers in play. The Claw we, we just need one the rare card, mashing, one chase the card. The Wiglet, the Mouse Hole, the Vitality Band, the Toxicricity, the Terran oh. 2 level will not score. The Dock Spun will not score. Oh, the Halucha. Halucha, no! Man! One right there. right there. It's 11 right points there. on the season. So close! Man, people are dancing around it. I know. This is the fun of the final round, though. I know. This is yeah. This is when everything really starts to heat up. But of course, we also do still have three more episodes after this one to close out the season. <clears throat> That's true. Uh, so just because we have a, a new leader doesn't mean it's going to stay there. Oh, goodness. Oh, this man. So Brick Fog is next. They've got 14 points. Okay, yeah, so 14. So really, we're looking at a quality eighth place finish right now. Which right, is which about they need 30 points. 30, 31 points, I think. Right, yeah. yeah. So we would, need, we would need a pretty big pull for this to for this to hit. Yes, we would. Uh, Smala, Primate, Palmy, Tarantula, Beach Court, Sandaconda, Katie, Flaffy, and the Cloth. So sadly, just a single point there. Not going to be reaching the big numbers. Going to finish with uh, 15 points on the season. There we go. Honestly, a very good showing there. 15, very solid. Brick Fog. Very, very solid indeed. Yeah, that's going to put you in about 27th overall. So yeah, that's that's a great position to be in. That is. All right, next up we have Alicia May, a.k.a. Spider-Man, I have written down here. Ooh! <clears throat> so I don't know if you, have you guys seen Across the Spider-Verse yet because... Awesome movie. It's good. I haven't seen it yet myself. Yeah, okay, yeah. So I need to, yeah, uh, spare time. Need to get out there. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. So the code card is down. We got the eyeball energy. We got the flowette, the palmy, the small live, the wiglet. Oh, the, the four fresh... stores. There we go. Hey. Uh, man, this is one that I feel like we could have like like glanced over a couple yeah. already. Uh, so the Rocky Helmet, the Mabostiff, the Spupa does not score, the Nimona does not score. Oh, oh the Oinkaroon! Yeah, there it is. All right, so two scoring cards. That's something. Let's see, that is something indeed. Is so the Oinkaroon two? Let's see, it is $2 exactly even, wow. so no rounding on that so one. So three-point pack. So all three of Spider-Man's packs here have been three-point packs, bringing them to nine on the season, an extremely... Uh, consistent player. Oh, this is the same birthday as Peter Parker. That's why perhaps That's we've written the, it down as Spider-Man. Right. Well, it's, of course you have the same birthday as Peter Parker when you are Peter Parker. So, well, I mean, of course, yeah. Same, same, same say, reason. Yeah. Alicia May just sounds like a little bit like a cover to me. Alicia no, May, A May, Aunt May. Okay, we're on to you. <laughs> Becky Borst, you're up next. Coming in with 16 points. 16 so points. So they're okay. looking for like a 15 point pack. I 15 suppose. point man, that would be an impressive like line. I mean, six points, 10 points. Those are both solid. Yeah, to like, go to rates. six, 10, 15. Yeah, they've I been know. pulling good cards. It seems I like. Know. I know they've had a lot of momentum. <clears throat> Even last season, they pulled a 15 point pack. So oh it's my been gosh, done. you're right. That's, yeah. Oh, and they've got the metal energy. The type advantage is in play. Oh, and they got a go go. Oh my gosh, it feels like everything. And the real real blue. Blue. Everything oh, is coming everything up. Everything is coming up big for Becky Borst. The Scatterbug, the Shop at the S Bathroom, the Arbor, the Cactus, the Triple Common. Oh my gosh, that's un I don't think it's ever happened. I don't think it has ever happened. I was, about, I was just about to say like we could almost have like a separate like rule for getting all three randomly chosen comic chase cards, yeah. but like. 
It's so rare, and yet here we Never are. Never happened, and yet here it is with the type advantage. Miriam feels like a good omen. It does. The Chansey and, and the, the Maridon. Maridon. Okay, so it's gonna be an eight point pack, which is so impressive. I don't think it's gonna be enough to get you there. That is going to be. That is honestly though, like twenty four points. Man, twenty four points. Which it like uh, coming into that, it would have been like a, like so close. To all three point. chase cards. I know that's that is impressive. Becky, congratulations on a great season. Yeah, I don't know if we need like another rule for pulling all three chase cards. It's just never happened before. I didn't even I, know it was possible. I, I know, I know. It seems so, and we haven't been pulling anything. any of them. Yeah, no. like we, we went from zero to a hundred there. Real Becky was really saving up. I know. Oh man. Well, uh, next up is. Bryliv, arch nemesis of Dylan Clark. Ha! <clears throat> uh, Bryliv has got two points on the season, so they are actually in contention for last place right now. Yes. And if they if they can get another single point pack, they will have three. They will be our current leaders for last place. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All so right. they've got 19 cents, 13 cents. <clears throat> so they're doing perfectly awful. We're very impressed so far. Yeah. Uh, it's got the Pawniard, the Toad School. The Sand Isle, the Houndoom, the Crocolore, the Florges. Man, we're looking great. We are the looking muck, good. The Magikarp. Oh, oh no! The Nest Ball! The, Nest Ball at the last second, which is worth two points. Oh my gosh. Uh, the and, and, oh, the Arboliva. Oh if my only, gosh. if only. Look, it was the Arboliva. It was worth eight cents. Eight so cents? That absolutely so worthless. They are just screaming at that Nest Ball right I bet now. So. Even the fact that it's a reverse hollow. I like, know. We don't, we don't account for reverse hollows in terms of our scoring because it would just be way too complicated but uh, it makes me feel like a nest ball which is normally worth like a dollar and change and rounds up to two points um, it makes me feel like it probably might be worth like a tad bit more yeah it probably still. is yeah. the reverse hollow nest ball might be worth like three dollars man Briley what a so season so five points are gonna miss out on it by that much the second to last card oh, wow. oh man they are just screaming at the at the screen right now the power couple of Bryliv. Next up, we have got Dola, aka Doe, uh, who has 23 points. So coming off of a really good pack. A really good pack, yeah. Yeah, I forget what did Doe pull last time. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember. remember, but we've got, that means we're coming in, it's like I think if she gets what, like a eight point pack would be a great position for uh, Colony uh, eighth place at yes, the moment. Yes, that would be great. Let's see how they go. So this is wrong Riolu. The wrong, okay, yeah, so for, for clarity, just so that you can see what's going on here. So there is a difference between the two. Yeah, yet again, we yeah. pulled a, we, we chose a randomly chosen common chase card that has a, uh, a double. Clawitzer, the Star Raptor, Electric Generator, Wug Trio, the Blissey does not score, the Pokeball does not score, the oh, Banette does! Banette. All Very right, cool. let's see. Uh, what is Doe going to let two two back to back good packs? I know, there we go. Let's see, number 88. Unfortunately, it's just going to fall into bulky X category. It's going to be 72 cents on uh, a single point. So 24 points on the season. Wow. If only. So close. What a great season for Doe. Beautiful card, though. Beautiful what card. They've been looking for, for. I know, I know. So at least at least we got to see we got to see Doe pull some some cool things this season. No though. doubt, no doubt. All right. Let's see. Who do we have next? It is Emerald Phoenix. Emerald. Five points on the season so far. <coughs> five points on the season. Let's see. So they're looking. What do they want? Like a seven point pack here? I seven think. points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Can we get seven points for Emerald? Let's find out. Got Dark Teardrop Energy, this Brigatita, the Houndor, the Drifloon. This card right here, this Drifloon's about to be like really good. Okay, okay, Weird. keep Surprisingly. an eye on it. the Heracross, the Defiance Band, the Wattrel, the Viper, and the Meowscarada. That oh. looks like just a single point for Emerald Phoenix. Moving into six on the season. Solid effort, dude. Solid effort. We know that Emerald is a school teacher, and so mm. I wonder. I've wondered before whether or not Emerald ever shows his class, uh, yeah. his, his moments here on Box Breakers. Yeah, so, like, shout out, out to Emerald's class. Boom. What's up, guys? All right. Next up, we have Anna, uh, who has got five points on the season as well. So, someone else looking for seven points today. The Anna yet again. Someone is going to have to figure out because. Apparently she did something insane in high school that she's still known for, but won't say what it is, which is like such a contradictory thought. I want, yeah, I know, you know? I know. It's like known for it, but like, you know. Like, I wonder if it's like, <clears throat> like known for it, but like nobody knows it's her, but people like whenever you like hang out with friends from high school, it's like, I still just can't believe that somebody like silly stringed the entire, right, yeah. you know, student body. Right. Like just yes. filled the rafters with nothing but silly string. How do they do it? How do they do it? We don't know. And it's like, oh my gosh, I know. And it's like, it was me, it was me. 
incidentally, probably what Jay's like life dream would be to like have caused such havoc. And such havoc. Knows, so. Wouldn't that be so fun as an adult to just pick a random high school and be like, I just set up a prank and <laughs> yeah, like the, a this, the prank. teacher, the teachers don't know who it did. The student body doesn't know who did it because it was a completely random person who just introduced some chaos into their day. Oh my gosh, I know, that, that, that is does a sound like idea. that sounds great. Yeah. If you ask me. All right, so we got the meditate, the energy <laughs> search. There's the Miriam, <clears throat> the spirit tomb, the ultra ball, the silicobra will not score. The Halucha will, will score, score, and the Cyclozar will score. So it's going to be two, two points, points overall. Seven on the season for Anna. There you go. Good luck. Maybe you could turn those points into some silly string. Uh, cause some chaos if you want. All right, next up we have Braun. Braun! Braun who is coming in with a uh, one point. So they must have been a rookie at the middle of the season. So I guess they are up for last place, right? Yeah, they would be because you they need would. at least two packs least to, two to packs. qualify for last place. So Braun wow. could be a, a huge contender here. Has one pack worth seven cents. Man, so um, yeah, Braun's in a really good position for last place if they get a single point because yes. they at that point they're only up against people who entered mid-season. Right, exactly, yep. Yeah. All right, let's see. Well, they're off to a good start there. The Moschief, the Pawnar, the Wiglet, the Toad School, the Judge, the Floatzel, the Miriam, this, oh, oh! But never mind, they've got the Alt Art Karida. That's gonna be worth so many points. That's amazing, wow. and, and then the, the Cyclozar. Cyclozar. All right, All right. So that's the one point, on but what's two. that? That's an awesome pull. Oh my gosh, this is such a great box. This is, can you imagine buying this box and getting the Alt Art Karidon and the Alt Art Miriam? And the, um, uh, what was it? And the Gyarados. The, the Gyarados, yeah. yeah. Because this Karidon is worth $38.42. That's a 30, that's a 40 point pack. It's a 40 point pack. So here we were talking about last place. No, nope. not 41 points puts you in a solid. It would have started the day at fourth place, which means you are now in fifth place, which means I want to say that pushes eighth place to Matthias at 33 points. So that is the new eighth place marker. Oh my gosh. Goodness me. Yeah. What like, a who would have thought there'd be such a shakeup? And so it was Team Water uh, who just got put higher on the leaderboard overall. Water came into the day in last place on the team competition. Who was our new first place holder? Um, that is going to be uh, Braun. No, not Braun. That was the one we just pulled. Oh, M Bug. M Bug, M Bug. Yeah. Okay, so what was M Bug coming into the day as well? Let's see if we can find M Bug. Was it was Grass? Okay, so Grass. Oh no, it is Grass. Oh my gosh, Grass was already in first, and now even more in oh, first. Oh, Grass has pulled two, two all the Oh man, I can't believe we didn't talk about that before. But that's Me absolutely neither. incredible. Okay, well, good luck to anyone beating Grass now. I know. Yeah, they might be unattainable get, levels. Get of Get ready for your pins, yeah. Team Grass. There we go. All right, next up is. Uh, no, oh, hold on, change name into Coco Crystals! Coco Crystals! Coco Crystals has uh, three points thus far on the season. Let's see how they do. Okay, man, Coco I cannot crystals. believe, uh, we were getting through that last pack, I was like, this is gonna be it, this is last place right here. Yeah. Two points unassailable. And Never then, mind. Never mind. 40 points. Jeez. Just so barely missing out on it. Got the eyeball energy there. Ooh, the Varum scores. Nice. Uh, the Magikarp, the Magnemite, the Tarantula, the Drift, oh, the, the Ball scores. The Pachirisu, the Slowbro scores, the Zangus doesn't, and the Palmot. So wow, lots of weird ways to score in yeah, that so one. One, two, three, four, Five. Five points there. That's going to bring them to eight on the season. So Coco Crystals very close to uh, getting to the last uh, Big Steve spot, but misses out on it. Dalton Green, hated rival of Blue Suede. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Blue Suede is getting angry. I don't know if you can feel it through the screen. Yeah. Just, just a, a real ferocity, but like a respectful ferocity. Exactly. You know? It's like, it's like everybody wants to see everybody else go down in a can of flames, but at the same time, like lovingly. Exactly. Yeah. Right. You know, that's the kind of um, environment we're trying to operate yeah, with yeah, here. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Cultivate. Okay. Right, so Dawn Green actually has 23 points coming in. So if they get 10, 11 points, they will now be in eighth place. Oh my gosh! Who so, thought the eighth place award was going to have so much movement today? <laughs> Um, okay, so let's see what's gonna happen here. So we got the Fido, the Scatterbug, the Drifloon, the Sprigadito, the Greedent, the Vivalon, the Doxbun, the Toxel will not score, the Klefki will, will score, and the Quaquavo Qua will. So, so just the two points. So. Two points, not what they were looking for, but 25 on the season is nothing to sneeze at. 
unless you've got allergies, and then nothing you can do about it. That's a good point. Yeah. Well said. But very eloquent. Thank you. <laughs> Remind me of like the announcer guy in Ted Lasso. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like takes everything like too literally. Way too literally. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. All right. Next up, we have Sierra, who has seven points on the season. I, sorry, when I think of seven, I'm thinking of five, and this is the seven right there. So two, <laughs> two <laughs> meaning seven. You get it. How many fingers am I holding up? Eight. <laughs> At least three. <laughs> <laughs> what is that from? Name of the wind. Name of the wind. At least three. Brilliant. All right, uh, Sierra, teaching her K through fifth grade after school care kids how to play Pokemon. All right, so these cards are actually going to some after-school kids, which is awesome to hear. They've got Rockus Pummeling coming their way. The Sandow, the Houndoom, the Fido, the Scatterbug, the Lucario. Zangu cycles are, oh, wrong cycles are, so that one doesn't score. The Rare Candy does not score. And, and the, the Coridon will score just for the single point, though. So is this the Coridon that the illustrator art that we just pulled is based off of? Is it is it the same? Oh, no, that's the Coridon EX. Oh, got it. Okay, very yeah, cool. So very cool. that one's a little bit better and more useful, although still not as good as the Miridon, which a lot of people have unaffectionately named Mid-Ridon, saying that it's only a mid Ooh, card. I know. Mid. It's kind of mid. It's kind of mid. The thing is, its ability is amazing, it just doesn't have the cards it needs right now, so uh, it feels like a card that's not going anywhere. Okay. What do you got there? Oh, you gotta tell me who I got. Oh, we got Dylan Clark, who was oh. the hand arrival of Brylib. Brylib. So you know that Dylan Clark was at home just like so happy to see Brylib pull that nest ball. I know. Because, He's... and as you can tell, Dylan Clark is sitting here with two points themselves. Yeah. So they are so hoping to rub it in Brylib's face that they are about to pull one point out of this pack. Let's see if they can Somehow, do it. Somehow, some way, something interesting. I so hope they get the nest ball. So we got the Grimer. Oh my God. Can you imagine? The ca no, the Cacnea doesn't score. No, the Cacnea does not score. The Sand Dial, the Espathra, the Arvin, the, oh, the Cacturn does, does score. score. Uh oh, so that's two points. Uh, the Krogunk will not score. The Shuppet will not score. And the Palmot will wow, score. So, so two, two points. points for the third episode. So that means they do finish lower on the season than Brylove, but closer to last place. Um, that brings them to four points total, which could, in fact, be the winning number for last place as it, of yet. It but very well could be. We're gonna have to keep a close and watchful yeah. eye on no that No one, one has landed at the coveted three points or the even rarer two points yet. Ooh. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Next up we have got uh, Zephania Larson. Zephania? Zephania Larson. <laughs> one of those uh, is... One of those is right. At least Zeph. At least Zeph. Zeph! There you go. Loves the outdoors. Hey, me too, Zeph. Nothing better than the good outdoors. Right? All right, Zeph has got four points on the season. Kablam! There's our uh, Fireball Energy, so no uh, type advantage. We've got the Quaxley, the Picnic Basket, the Bombardier, the Hypno. Ooh, the Fortress Which scores. Is, score, yeah. Armor Rouge scores. And oh! Oh, the other Coridon. So three scoring cards after all. This is what that Coridon was based on. Got it. Okay, let's take a peek here. So number 231 <clears throat> on the set is going to be worth $4.09. Okay, so not so a bad pull. So five, five six, seven. Seven points right overall. There. Oh, wait. Plus their four. That's going to bring them to 11 on oh, the season. So close. Tying with Big Steve. Goodness me. Man, very, very impressive. And a More. great pull there, though, with the Coridon. Coridon EX is a tricky one because there's actually four versions of the card. There's the base rarity, the full art, the alt art, and the gold rare. Wow. So there's a, a bunch of different versions of that card you can pull. I think the alt art's the rarest one. All right, next up we have Chase. Chase! Chase is uh, Doe's son from earlier in the round. Okay. He's got eight points on the season, eight. Um, I think it's your pull. Okay, I'll you, do it. Uh, Clearly we've been doing it wrong because I have you have three packs up and I have one. So. Right, 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 there we go. Something's okay. askew. Right. So we'll take a look here. So Chase, uh, let's see, what do, we, what do we need to catch up with Dola? Because Dola has has had a, a rather large pull. I think she had 25 points. Okay, okay. Let's so see if Chase can beat uh, can beat his mom here. Right, let's take a look. All right, fireball so energy. Fireball energy. We got mm -hmm. the the Flittle, the Saviper, the Houndor, the Satoddle, the Torkoal, the Scovelin, the Oinkalone, the Mastiff. Uh, which will not score, the Muckwitch will not score, and the, the Slowbro! Slow which has, uh, of course, our favorite art award on the season, but yes. it's still only worth a single point. That's gonna bring you to nine overall. Really, maybe what Chase was going for was the big Steve thing, but still falls up mm, mm, eatsy bit short. Just a tiny bit short, but either which but way... But Slowbro. And we appreciate your support. Headed your way. Yeah, dude. All right, next up, we have got Nixaclaw. 
Nixiclaw's coming in. Ooh, boy. All right. They could shake some things up here, Ben. Nixiclaw's got 24 points on the season. Oh, the man. Okay. Okay. So a, a six-point pack and an 18-point pack. So we've been playing some good game. No doubt. All right. Nixiclaw says that they were a JMU alum class of 2009, which means they must have been there at the same time as my wife. What? That's crazy. That's pretty amazing. And they attended a Halloween event at Virginia Tech in 2007, so... Possible I was there. 2007? I was at, I was at some ha Halloween party in 2007. Uh, you know what Halloween event I was at at Virginia Tech in 2007? Was my first ever viewing of the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which I had no idea what it was. And I, boy, if you don't know, if you don't have any idea, it's an experience. Isn't there like audience mm -hmm. participation? There's a lot of audience yeah, participation. Yeah. And if you haven't seen it before, they draw a big red V on your head to mark you as a virgin of the show. And that means they want to pick on you. And boy, did I not want that to happen. So anyway, that's what I was doing at Virginia Tech in 2007 on Halloween. Oh, type advantage. Let's wow. see what you got. Wow. wow. Okay, so they're at 24 points. 24 so points. So what do we need? 33 is the magic number? I believe right? 30, yeah, well 34. 34. Yeah. So, okay, so they need 10 points out of this pack to get into eighth place for now. Right, yes, for now, because it's been changing like wild it fire has. or something. Yeah, it's the Flaffy, the Blissy. So far, nothing to write home about. The Squavit and, the Gyarados. oh, Gyarados. Okay. So this is the uh, lesser version of the Gyarados we saw earlier. Right. But it might have, if, it, if it's worth like four bucks, that would be, well, it needs to be yeah. worth five dollars. It's $1.83, uh, so two points on so, the pack so, for that Gyarados. Well, four points. Oh, I'm sorry. You're so, right, you're yep. right. Yep, okay. So it still just brings you to 20 eight on the season not a bad showing though not a bad showing whatsoever so we'll yes. have to we'll have to keep an eye on uh nixie claw going into uh future future seasons no kidding every single one of their packs looks to have been at least exciting to open all right they've gotten a good season out of it next up we have veva who has got three points on the season. So who knows, this is one of those where it's like, so far we haven't had any three pointers, so maybe four is good enough for last place. But uh, we're gonna have to see. I know, yeah, the, that'll, I feel like in the next few weeks, we're really gonna be able to like, obviously dial in on that last place award as we get so much closer to the finish line, uh, which will make it very exciting as we as we move forward. So we've got the Mareep, the Silicobra, the Bisharp, the, the Riolu score. score, yep, the Drift Blim, the Mezagoza, the Defiance Band, the Greedent will not score, mm -hmm. the Weasel will not score, and the Annihilate will score, score, and it'll be a two point pack overall. So five on the season there, not gonna be good enough for last place, Veva unfortunately, but you got the Annihilate. That's pretty solid. All right, next up, oh, this is our last pack of the day. It is Sydney. Sydney. Sydney coming in with four points on the season, is a hairstylist from Texas. Started collecting Pokemon cards around age six or seven. Man. That's a good haul. You must have there quite the go. collection. I bet you're fun to talk to when you cut people's hair. Like, what kind of deck you run? You yeah. would be like in heaven. I would be great, yeah. If you want to do my hair the next time I'm in Texas, which incidentally would be later this year. I don't know if you work in Austin, but probably not. I mean, maybe. You it's never know. You population never know. centers. Yeah. Let's see. That's where we'll be. July 7th through the 9th. RTX. 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 Ticket down below. That's right. All right, Magnemite. Oh, the Varun scores. scores. The yeah. Berloom will not. The Kilowatchel, the Heracross, the Fido, the Zangus, and, and the, the Research. So there we go. We're going to finish out the day. I mean, Sydney scored two points on all three of her packs for a total of six on the season. Man, Man. what a box. What a guys. box indeed. I mean, the the it's so funny because like I feel like we we sometimes think think about like the pull rates on the basis of opening in such large capacities because we're always opening booster boxes for the show here. Yeah. Um, that box, if you had bought it just as an individual, would have been Fire. so worth it. That would have been such a great box. Alt Caridon EX, full art Caridon EX, full art Gyarados EX, along with the regular one, yep. two different spy dopses, the alt art Miriam, like that box was insane. That was packed with yeah. value. That's that, that has got to be up there for for highest ranking, just like boxes across the board that we've had in a long time. Mm -hmm. So very impressive, very cool, so much fun. Yes, and so uh, with that, the first round of final packs has been open. We have three more rounds to go before we will see where all the chips lay, but man, if it's as exciting as uh, this box, I am I am excited because uh, we still have Margo left to open her final pack to possibly reclaim the lead. I know, it's gonna uh, be, yeah, Margo's pack is gonna be something to witness for I sure. Know, they need like seven points. They need seven points. 
Yeah, so Margo and uh, Mbug have now pulled the same extremely rare card. Which is what happened with the Alt Art Lugia. It with is. Brooke. I know, I know, I know. So yeah, now we're now we're literally down, but like, but Margo balls in her court. So balls you know. in her court. So yeah, she has opened uh she is she has one to go. She can still win this whole thing. There we go. As could potentially uh Tyler Gillies now sitting in third place with 52 points. Would need a really good pack, but you know, not impossible. Right, I know. There's there's, there's a lot of stuff that could still happen to uh to close up the season and, and maybe see some big because we never would have predicted coming into the day that M Bug of all would you know would be you like never part know. of the leaderboard. So you never know. anyway, guys, as ever, thank you so much for your support. If you have been watching the show and would like to be on a waiting list in order to be included in a future season of Box Breakers, we have a link to that uh, in the description down below, and we will let you know uh, if and when that space ever does become available, which I'm sure eventually it will if you'd like to play at some point in time. So be sure to check that out. Otherwise, uh, everything else over at patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. And until next time, bye! bye.